Part four of if the final season of Game of Thrones is really good. So now that John and Danny have decided that they're gonna lead together, Bran has a vision of the next part of the Night King's plan. Bran shares with everybody that the Night King has taken over King's Landing and he's separating his army in two. Keeping half the army at King's Landing, but also sending the rest towards Cashley Rock, down to Storm's End, High Garden, and Dorne, adding more White Walkers to his army all along the way. Now, Jamie is super worried because now he knows that Cersei either is dead or she got away and, like, he doesn't know where she is. So he demands from Bran to tell him where Cersei is. Bran says she's hurt, but she is away safely. She's with Euron Greyjoy. Now they all have to decide what their next step is. So Sansa steps up now as Hand to the Queen, says, hey, if we can stay along the coastline and go south, get as many people to the coast of Westeros as possible, we can probably get a big army together enough to kind of attack King's Landing. Now, a lot of people don't like this plan because that means they'd have to sacrifice all the people that are pretty much in the middle of the country just to get a shot for the people that are on the coast. However, Sansa argues those people are going to die anyways. They're going to be a part of the army. We need to save as many people as possible. Those are the people that are closest to water. Also, the people that we are able to save can be a part of our navy. It'd still be a disadvantage numbers-wise, but we might have a better shot. Danny and John realize there really is no good option here, so they kind of have to do it. So they send out as many ravens as possible to as many sides of the country, being like, hey, get to the coast. Get there as fast as you can, bring your boats. It's the only way you're going to survive. So John and Danny send out ravens all throughout Westeros. Some people believe them, some people don't. Some people evacuate, some people stay where they're at, kind of like, like bootstraps, like, hey, we'll, we'll fight them, we don't care. And those are the people that get decimated. So Danny and John are headed down the coastline, gathering as many ships as they can, in kind of like a Dunkirk-esque fashion. It was like little sailboats, little, little, little just dinghies, just they're, they're doing all they can to gather as many people as possible. Until they meet in Dorne, Euron, and Cersei. But Cersei and Euron have seen what the White Walkers can do firsthand. And she's like a very humbled version of herself because she has no more power. But they still demand, if you want to use our ships, we get full pardons if this ends up succeeding. John and Danny are like, yeah, whatever, fine, we need your ships. So by the end of the episode, they've got as much of Westeros on their side as possible. And they're headed for King's Landing for the last battle of Blackwater Bay. Like and follow for part five.